So something we don't often cover much in wild bites is plants. And you can probably guess which one I'm going to talk about now. This is a saguaro cactus, and it can only be found here in a Sonoran desert in the southwestern United States. And it is massive, absolutely incredible. So if we take a closer look here, it is lined with lots of really sharp spines, which is charismatic of most cactus species. Now these serve multiple functions. So first of all, it's defense. Any animal looking to access the water and resources within the cactus is gonna find it difficult getting through all these spines. Although you can see here boreholes of native woodpecker species. They've actually created holes in the top as well. But also, during a desert mist, these spines are really good at collecting mist, which is vital for the plant's survival. Then all that water is stored in this trunk and below the ground. Saguaros have an extensive root system and only transpire at night to prevent excessive water loss during the heat of the day. The tissue beneath a thick waxy cuticle is where the cactus stores water. The surface of the saguaro comprises of many folds, during rare periods of heavy rain, these folds can expand to store more water without the plant bursting. Saguaro cacti provide lots of ecosystem functions. They're vital for so many other species in these ecosystems. Firstly, the sheer size means they create lots of shade and that can be really useful for other plant species to grow in that shade and not be scorched by the sun. And it's also great for animal species looking for shade as well, because during the midday hours, it gets too hot for most species. Another ecosystem function is providing homes. Now, I mentioned earlier, there are lots of holes dotted in the saguaro cacti, and they're often homes for species such as elf owl. Saguaros also provide food to many animals in the form of fruit, nectar, and flowers. Various birds, mammals, reptiles, and arthropods directly benefit from the resources that these saguaro provide, making them a keystone species, and many of the Sonora Desert's inhabitants could not survive without them. Saguaro grow slowly, and it may take up to 70 years for a saguaro to grow taller than the average adult person, and up to 100 years to reach a height of 15 feet and grow its first arm. However, for a plant that has evolved to survive in a place where no other large plants can survive and compete with it, and where resources are scarce, being a slow grower still remains a viable strategy for the saguaro to survive, and to foster future generations. For more on cacti, be sure to check out my earlier video on the ruthless defense mechanisms of the jumping teddy bear choya cactus. I show a pretty good example of how not to remove it if a piece is stuck to you.